today I'm drawing and painting a gemstone using value. First I'll write my name on the paper and then I'm going to sketch out my gemstone. You'll have a few different options of different kinds of uh, gemstones you can draw, different shapes. Um, so you'll have some sheets on your table showing you how to draw those different shaped gemstones. You'll use a pencil of course so that if you make a mistake you can erase it. When your gemstone looks good, it's all drawn out with pencil, then you're going to go over those pencil lines with a Sharpie. And I have a metallic Sharpie here, so if those are available, you can use one too. They just add a little bit of extra shine. Now when I'm tracing over my pencil lines with the Sharpie, I'm going a lot slower, and I'm making sure my lines are nice and straight. You can use a ruler for this part if you want to, that is certainly fine. Now that my gemstone is outlined with Sharpie, I'm just going to go in with an eraser and get rid of some of those pencil lines that are still showing through. This just cleans it up a bit. Now it's time to paint. And when I paint my gemstone, I'm going to think about value, which is the lights or darks in a work of art. Darker values kind of represent shadows or where light really isn't hitting uh, the object and lighter values represent highlights or where light is hitting the object and reflecting off of it. So when you paint your gemstone, please be sure to use all kinds of different values from dark, very dark to very light. So a trick when you're using paint like this, this is temper cakes, um, but this works for watercolor too, is that less water and more paint equals a darker value and more water and less paint equals a lighter value. And it's always a lot easier sometimes to work from light to dark because it's a lot easier to make light parts darker than it is to make dark parts lighter. So just think about that. And remember, less water, more paint equals darker and more water, less paint equals lighter. And I want you to show again, lots of different values when you paint your gemstone. For the super, super light values, sometimes I'm just dipping my paintbrush in the water and without getting paint, just kind of spreading it over some of the areas that were already painted, just to make those values a lot lighter. So again, more water, less paint, lighter, less water, more paint, darker. And you can always layer colors too. I'm just doing a plain old blue, um, which is fine, you can do one color, monochromatic, or you can do a few different colors, just make sure that they're analogous, they sit next to each other in the color wheel. So if I wanted to pick a different color with my blue, I would pick either purple, green, maybe red, 